Well, Admin and I got a hypercar update, and you guys are not. Okay, but it's flashing. It's not going into the truck. Oh, man. I think I f***ed up the transmission on the car. I'm not buying a b Oops. It, no, stop. What, 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 why do you gotta ruin every video? I haven't even made the video yet, and you've already ruined the next video. Oh, you're making two videos in one I'm day. making, like, nine more videos. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Coming up next. Edmund. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm gonna miss my flight. That's fine. So, um, oh, I see where you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> I see where you're going with this. Can you drop uh, me off and I lose so, please? Are you buying a car? Uh, I got my chest. Like, it's the second I pull my chest to go, you gotta get this up. All right, so. Are your lips real? <laughs> they are real, yes. Can you prove it? I, I'd say squeeze them, but that'd be like. No, I'm not touching your lips. Uh, how would I prove that my lips are real? Show me that you've never gotten Botox. Like, let me see your bank statement and let me see there's no Botox on there. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> what a weird way to start it. <laughs> calls for another emergency break. <laughs> so, okay, please. Right. So Houston's going to miss his flight. Because my flight was at 4.30 and okay. it's currently So in uh, instead of paying 350 bucks to catch the next flight, Houston has decided, why don't I just go to Iluso and buy a, what is it, a $300,000 car? No, oh, what? I'm not buying anything. I just need to go to Iluso because I missed my flight and I think that'd be a fun place to go. Oh, I thought you wanted to go there to buy a car to drive back home. I, I mean, that, that was an idea that I had. I thought maybe it'd be a good idea just to go there and see if I could find anything that I like and then I'll, I don't know. I mean, hold on. Actually, let me check something because I got a text from uh, JetSuite. Uh, crap. It's gonna take a while. Oh, okay, hold on. Actually, I might make my flight. Turns out that uh, my flight is delayed. Estimated departure is 6.15 now. Because so, of the weather? Yeah, because of the weather. I feel like you should drive home, bro. I'll just give you the jeep. Oh my god, it's so dangerous. Dude, the flight here? Holy crap, you have no idea. Show what you bought. <laughs> I bought these bands, okay, right here, because I was so nauseous, I was gonna throw up on the guy in front of me. And they didn't even have food service on the flight, so I had an empty stomach with uh, one shot of five hour energy. Wait, you gotta say why they didn't have food service. Because it was so bumpy. Okay. They had to stop the food service. It was nuts. Please, please. Just, so, and I, I already am in the passenger. I, he's a good driver. Stop. It, it's just like, it's just, do you see what I'm going through right now? Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, I can make so much money if I get in a car accident with him in the passenger seat, okay? Because it would pay for our wooden copy. I would get 10, I would get at least $1.5 million because Edwin is so reckless. I could just send him like a bunch of YouTube videos and be like, <laughs> this is what happened to me while I was driving. <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> you know my, uh, so here's the funny part. My insurance agent follows me. Oh, on, great. <laughs> follows me on Instagram and yeah. YouTube. So every time I do something cool, Oh, oh, what I consider cool, but she considers stupid. She sends me a text with the video and just question marks, and then she goes, really? I'm like, well, yeah. Okay, you want to hear actually a really funny story that compliments this? Okay. I try to get, I have I have liability only on everything I own because full coverage for me is very complicated. Um, so my Veyron has liability only on it. And so I try to get full coverage with five, I mean, Literally, these are the, 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 the top of the top of the top. You've got to have a couple million dollars in assets, even to apply. And I was like, a for sure thing, I was going to get full coverage because I was going to wrap my house, my business, and all of my stuff in it. Every single person that saw my application told my insurance agent, no, we've seen his videos. Really? I swear, I swear on my kids, that's what they told me. And so I am uninsurable for full coverage. So. I'm surprised I'm still covered. Because they don't, you you haven't tried to insure a Veyron. I have insurance on my Urus, and I have insurance on my Tesla and my S63 full coverage. Okay. But it caps at 200,000, because that's a regular progressive thing. But I had Liberty Mutual for 14 years, dude. Look at that. Okay. 14 years. Oh, he, he yeah. hit the thingy right there. That was awesome. Yeah. Did he, Ed, Edmund watched it happen, didn't even do anything about it. Could have honked his horn or something. Should we go tow him out with the Jeep? Nah, we, that would make a video. We told this cool. semi. Uh, I had Liberty Mutual for 14 years, basically. So last year, not last year, so this is about seven, eight months ago, 
they decided just to raise my insurance to six thousand dollars a month for three cars like my three personal cars so i don't insure uh my gallardo or my lotus or any of my cars that i have sitting because i don't drive them right so if i do drive them it's like it, is that it's 6, never thousand every six months no or? six thousand a month, a month. seventy two thousand dollars a year That's for insurance yeah, i don't pay that much I know, but it was like unbelievable. So I canceled Liberty Mutual, went to Progressive, I and mean, it's like eighteen hundred bucks a month now. Yeah, I pay forty two hundred bucks a month. For how many? Uh, the Mercy, the two Porsches, this. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, the Subi. You have an insurance on the green Porsche? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? Does it even work? No, but if it catches fire at the shop. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, if it catches fire, I, mean, I don't know. Sure. If something happens, yeah. At the shop, Thanks. Would you like to bring up the fire thing again? Okay. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. But what else has happened at your shop? Well, let me bring it up. <laughs> uh, my Gallardo caught on fire and I didn't have insurance on it. And I lost like two hundred thousand dollars. Well, the best thing was, so all those crazy like two hundred mile an hour uh, autobahn pulls I was doing. <laughs> remember that yeah. with the Mercy? Yeah. Turns out I didn't have international insurance. Oh, tight! Everything I did over there, I had another no reason why I did not go to Europe with Edmund. Yeah, so I had full I had full insurance on my car, but I didn't know that it doesn't transfer over to Europe. So I had anything happen over there, I, it wouldn't have been covered. Wow. Had I known that, I probably wouldn't have taken it to the track and everything else. On, um, you know, if you go to the track, it's not insured. Regular car insurance does not cover you if you're in a racetrack. That's why in my track video, you know, I'm not driving like a maniac because I have $280,000 worth of car, right? Or how much is the Evo? $300,000. So you tell me every single time I've been to a track, my car's not insured? Yes, 100%. Maybe I should tell him a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> just, just little and fun. maybe you should not let Gustavo drive your stupid car around the track either because that was a big mistake of mine. Because he, he, did you ride with Gustavo? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he drove my car. He's scary. Oh, yeah. It's insane. He's doing one hand on the wheel at 180 miles an hour with his head out the back of the window. So, here's a funny <laughs> thing. So, I, I did a few laps with my car, and then Gustavo gives me a lap. And, uh, I was specifically warned by a Super Trofeo driver, the person that won the championship last year, to take it very easy on that bank. Right? Yeah, because on the it, bumps. It, yeah, it's very bumpy uh, on that oval part. So he told me, don't go any faster than 150 miles an hour. Like anything faster than that, your car's gonna spin out. It's gonna hit catch bump and it's gonna spin out. So I was taking all the turns at like 145 with, with my Super Trofeo when I, when I was driving. Gustavo gets in and he's just mashing it. Doesn't doesn't ease off at all, so no brakes, nothing. And I'm like, shh, crap in my pants, but he's recording this, so I'm trying to keep it cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to look like a bitch in my own car, you know, and there's a pro driver driving it. I'm like, stop off, like, <laughs> like in the corner of my own. I'm slow down. And he does this, bro. So he's like literally going like like yeah. this, right? In the middle of the turn. And then he just goes, literally, grabs my. Grabs it's gonna my, be okay. He grabs my, he's like, it's gonna be okay. As he's doing it, it's like, he's like. I'm gonna turn at like 170 miles an hour. I'm like, bro, what the f, man? Like, as soon as we pull over, camera, so I'm like, I'm like, dude, you can't do this shit to me. <laughs> like, it's like I do this for fun, you know. I, I do this as a profession. This is nothing. It's like I was only pushing it 80%. Like, <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I, I don't, don't want to know what 100% is. It's gonna so, be okay. Yeah, that, that was okay. Funny. If you guys go see Ford versus Ferrari, a 24 hour Le Mans race is freaking retarded. Okay, Gustavo won. He won um, in 2016. Uh, LMP2 class. Yeah, he's currently in the LMP1 prototype class. That's unbelievable. Can yeah. you understand what kind of not only the endurance you have to have, like Lewis Hamilton has to be one of the strongest athletes in the world to race what he races, and he is by far the best driver of our generation. He's not. And uh, who, who's better than Lewis Hamilton? Right now, he, uh, our generation. Uh, you can for, go the past uh, like no, I, I think ten years. I think Verstappen is the best. For, okay, Verstappen is good. All right, he just doesn't have a good enough car to win. Correct. Yeah. So Lewis Hamilton has had the best car the last six years, which is why he keeps winning. Okay. So he's also the best driver because he wins. No, Nico Rosberg won one one time. One time. Yeah, one but. Time. I, so, uh, my point is, okay, is in order so, to drive like that, you not only have to be like super skilled, like zero fear, but you also have to be like a straight athlete. Like it's crazy, like 
all these guys are super thin and they're all in shape and everything. I mean, just me around a go-kart track, I'm like, look <laughs> at my breath, you know? I'm like, <laughs> you know? Hey, he's not even kidding. <laughs> that's crazy. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a, a true story. <laughs> yeah, their neck muscles are probably stronger than our legs. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, anyways, so this, I, uh, you know, we're just blabbing away. I don't think people want to see our faces. Can you just go show them some cars at Iluso? We're, I'm almost to Iluso. We're only 84 minutes away and it's three miles. 45 minutes away. 45 minutes away and it's three miles. Uh, 30.5. 30.5 miles. I missed a zero. All right, so we'll get with you at 30.5 miles. I think the last time I was here, I bought a 918. Is that the last time you were here? I think so, and it was also raining. Uh, so the rain brings me to California, apparently, or Iluso. It's also Wednesday uh, last Is it open? Here. Yeah. So, the, okay, yes, I think we should go car shopping. They've got so many cars here right now, it's a really good idea. But should I go car shopping for myself, or should Edmund actually grow up and get a man's car? I mean, sure, yeah, he got a cool race car, but what are you gonna do with a race car on the street? He's gonna take it to Rodeo once? How many times is he gonna get it before you know, impounds his car, right? So, so what's a man's car? That's a man's car. This is a man's car. <laughs> a man's car. Well, I don't know about an F12 TDF. I just, look, it, it's a great car. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, it's what got, is an F12? It's got a terrible blue interior, though. I don't like it. The, the Tour de France or the darker blue? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's No, I don't like it. Okay, so my point, a man's car is something you can take a girl on a date. Uh, race car? Are you taking... Your girl on a date? I mean, if she's the right type of girl, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, a man's car is something that is beautiful. It's expensive. You know, it's something like show. You know, it's got presence, right? An Aventador is a man's car. This here is gorgeous. Okay. It's a uh, Grigio Telesto, maybe? No. I don't really know. What color is this? It's a, it's a Grigio, but it's a different Grigio. I said Pop the hood, please. No, just go in there and pop the hood and we'll Sorry, see. This is a man's car, I don't know how to pop the hood. Okay. We're gonna find out what color this is. Can you read that? Because I can't read. I have my, my glasses on, but. Grigio Medio. Medio. Medio? Medio. Oh. This, is a, my, I, this is like two pages of options. Why, why okay. do you have to go that close by? Uh, it's Grigio Medio. Okay, great. Oh, yeah, I just saw it here. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah, like I had really good um, All right, man's car is an Aventador. You have a matte this white one, and you a have a gloss car. white one. No, this is okay. This is not a man's car. A person that wants to be flashy has the money. He's not a driver. Will buy an Aventador. Right? No driver. It's not true. Aventadors are amazing. No. Yeah, that's why you rent them really well, right? You. These are renters' cars. <laughs> okay. The driver will never buy a car. All right. It's a shitty Okay, car. so do you think an F12 is a man's car? No. Okay, 48 a man's I car. I like F12s until I drove Randy's, which is actually outside. I didn't like it at all. Savage Garage F12. Right there. Okay, so let's go talk about it. What does a man's car cost? All right. I think... Okay, so I think a man's car is an A12. That's definitely a man's car. All right, car. they have a couple of those here. Uh, I haven't seen one. They're, I think they're out there. Right. Would you say this is a man's car? I, I really do. Look, okay, I want to I want to clarify something. I almost bought a Senna instead of buying my 918, but the problem with the Senna is, is that I only have liability only insurance, and these things just randomly catch fire all the time, and I just can't lose $1.2 million. That's, the, that's one of the issues that I have. Okay, but yes, this, this here is, is just, not this one, this one. I mean, this one's, it, this one's got some flicky, weirdy it's paint. It looks like water spots. It's a thousand dollar option, which is ridiculous. No, it's stupid. Like it. It, looks, it, it looks like water spots. It looks like the car's dirty. It does. And the silver wheels do not complement it at all. Okay, this car here. But uh, I don't like the interior. It's too plain. It just has orange seat bolts. The door. It's pretty clean though. It's pretty light. Yeah, but it's, dude, it's so tiny. Like you see this, I know it's a big car. But once you get inside, it's really uncomfortable. You don't like the seats? 
Uh, the Senate seats are supposed to be the most comfortable McLaren yeah, seat. Uh, the most comfortable seats are the GT3 RS bucket seats. Uh, I agree, GT3 RS bucket seats, but um, you know, really it's uh, it's one of those things. It smells so good in here. It does. Yeah, it smells it smells brand. Oh, it's got 70 miles on the dome, and that's why. That's why. That's why. Man's car. Man's car. That's a man's car. Man's car. Yes. Man's, man's car. car. Come on. Okay. Um, this is a man's car. This? Yeah, definitely. That, which one? The, the Molson. So I, I actually have been on a Molson for a minute, which yeah. I, I might check that one out. Um, this car here. This is a chick's car. Oh. This is a. Uh, uh, this is a Luso. Oh, this is a GT4 Luso? Yeah. This one's actually pretty cheap. You know, this is 200 grand. No. Yes, there's, they have it listed at $200,000. I, will buy today if it's it's, I swear to you, it's 200000 no, bro. I swear, I swear. Go on Ilusa's website. I'll, I'll, I'll buy this right now. I stock tally. Um, if it's 200K, I, I missed my FF. It's 200K. <laughs> I swear to you, it's 200. Do they have another one? Because this color is a little. Uh... Grigio Medio. No, this is Grigio Medio. <laughs> <laughs> Not all grays are Grigio Medio. Okay, but Edmund, what about this one? Come over here. 550? No. This brand new 2020 Bentley. A brand new one not a man's car what do you mean look at the interior dude just come on look at the interior for a second and tell me it's not a man's car a dentist drives this car a dentist you'll agree a dentist is not a doctor nah. i love it i like roses more than bentley's i love it uh what else uh nothing else california turbo no uh this 570 looks nice it's raining but look at this wing. Oh, I, I know the guy that used to own this. He, yeah? he just traded this for a 720. Oh. It's actually my neighbor. He oh. lives like half, half a mile away from me. Okay. Armenian guy. Okay. Uh, not a man's car though. Uh, okay, so there's no more man's cars here. Are there any other Lusos? I really want to leave. Are they seriously 200 here? I'm telling you it's $200,000. Is that the V8? You can get this 720 for 230000 I can get you this car for 230 grand. Is the 720 a man's car? It's a driver's car. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I don't like the it's nice, luxury. Oh my God. It's luxury. Right, so it's a race car, wannabe luxury car. <laughs> no. It smells like luxury too. Yeah, that's a no. That's a, <laughs> that, that's a hard name. I didn't say why it was 230,000. Okay. Just said it was two hundred thirty thousand. What is uh, the man's car? Colin. Yeah. Dang. Right, that's the man's car. How about this? What is this? Oh, this is nice too. I mean, it had custom wheels on it. I was told, and that these stocks were put on. I don't like the wheels. Yeah. No, I know, but the the wheels like, I don't I don't like those wheels right here on the Colin in. But look, the Colin has that's black cool. on red. Let's check this one out. This is really nice. It's not red. It's and it's not burgundy. This, this is it's not burgundy. It's not red. What what, what would you call this? Cranberry. This is cool. I like it a lot. You know why I like this? Because red is too aggressive for a luxury car. Now don't get me wrong. Let's let's talk about luxury, right? It's too aggressive for luxury. What is this? A ghost? There's a ghost. So this closes first. No, they probably can That's close the same it at a different time, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. You like this? I think I'm getting old. Yeah? Yeah. I'm for sure old. <laughs> I'm circular. Circular. So I'm very old. But I like look, the uh -huh. only thing about the Mos Mosan, I like the girl in the Mosan because it's black, but this here. You can black the trim out, obviously put some nice wheels on it, and you're you're in the same boat as the other stuff. What's the price of this? Uh, this for a ghost, this is probably, I don't know, a 14 or something like that. This is probably like 150-ish. How much is this? Probably 200. The only thing I don't like about the Mosan is the, is the Bentley technology. I, I gotta sit inside and make this decision. 
No, it definitely rolls. For sure. It, it, the the, the Mulsanne is dope on the outside. Yeah, it's a lot smaller inside than I thought it was. Yeah, be. for how big it is. Uh oh. What's up, Alec? I gotta turn Ooh, the camera off. Ready. Well, I'm gonna leave this sea of supercars here and the beautiful array of the hypercars in the showroom because I need to get home. And well, of all the cars here, I chose to drive the most comfortable car home. And well, I thought the Mulsanne was the one I was gonna get, but it turns out that somebody already bought this car. Um, Edmund, did you think I was getting a Mulsanne? I, I thought so, I was hoping for it, but not this spec. I don't like the black interior, it's, it's too plain. <laughs> The interior of this, well, congratulations on the car. Yeah, so this one right here is super sick because I love the cranberry interior cool. and uh, I can't afford a Cullinan because that's a $450,000 ride home. This was a $150,000 ride home. I, so I, I found <laughs> the manliest car, by the way. Which one? Here. Okay. Go, follow me. I, I think you really ignore like this. this. All right. Is, you, you Can might... it go off road? Okay, so you see this? <laughs> it's M2, right? Yes. Savage Garage F12, right here. Right, yeah. Used to love F12s until I drove this car. It at 130, it got wobbly. I hit a tiny little. Bump. It has very soft suspension for some reason. It, it flows a lot. Yes, M2. Supposedly, the super A12, sick. They fixed it. So behind this, we got the Mountains car. Oh, yeah, so, deep. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Okay. <laughs> are we doing dinner? Uh, we should do dinner. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll see you there. Uh, where are we going? Ooh. Let's go there. Okay. Well, let's just not walk this. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the ghost when I get in it, but Edmund and I are gonna eat dinner, and um, then I will be on my way back to Las Vegas because now I have a ride. Locked and loaded, ready to drive back to Vegas. Uh, Sour Patch, Evian, five hour. What else do you need? Maybe a hotel. <laughs> it's pretty late, and I'm, I'm really hoping I can make it back through this drive, but this traffic in California is something out of another world. I think eventually I'm gonna get the hang of driving really slow, but until that moment, it's very frustrating. So I really want to do a really cool uh, uh, B-roll scene and really cool cut stuff of this car that I just got because it's gorgeous and I love it so much. Um, and I also want to tell you guys why I bought another Rolls because I needed one, right? Not just to get home, but also because it's the winter. And um, there's a lot of people that really like Rolls Royces in December especially in January for the CES show and all that stuff. So tomorrow when I get back to Vegas, Mario can do a beautiful, um, you know, scene of this car and uh, you'll love it. So until then, I'm going to get on the road and maybe make it home tonight.